It was about time we put it to use. The team at Morton told us about this little place called the Barra Hole, which is great for fishing. But they also told us to watch out for the resident croc, so I better take some protection. Well, I saw it on a YouTube video once and it seemed to work that time. Oh, oh they do it is there, yeah. When you do your trip up to the Cape, make sure you set aside some time. There's no point in just blasting up to the top, blasting back, when there's moments like this you're gonna miss. Fishing on the mighty Wenlock River, trying to catch one of those elusive barra. I came down here to relax and flick a couple, and I found myself thinking. Looking up at the bank there, have a look at that country. In 1885, they started to build the overland telegraph track. Horses, carts, bullock teams, cutting a track through that country and these rivers all the way to the top of Australia. Morton Telegraph Station worked from 1880 to 1987, 100 years. It sent the messages from the top of Australia to the bottom. And during the war, they actually ran another line from north of Punzan Bay all the way to Brisbane so they could have their own line and not use the civilian ones, keeping all the secrets, you know. Tough times, a lot of history out here. Let's see if we can make a bit of history today with the biggest barrow, eh? I think we're pretty safe, we're not going to break those records. Nothing quite beats a good Cape York camp. Cooking up a few steaks, a glass or paper cup of red wine and a fire to sit around. This is when having a van set up for off-grid use comes into its own. No power or water here, but both Tanya and I can wash the dust of the day off in our own showers and fall asleep in our own comfy beds. This is a long shot from the swags and tents I used to come up here with. 